Good morning guys, so Bash and I are getting ready and we're going to be making our way to Paris on the Eurostar. Um, it's Men's Fashion Week and we are going to Paris with Amy. And I, today, for my train, I'm wearing a Zagged and Voltaire cashmere hoodie, an Ami blazer, a Prada skirt and Ghani boots. What are you wearing? What am I wearing? Nanushka, Cole Buxton, Valentino, Rick Owens, Sarah's beanie that I stole. I don't know where it's from. Um, the market. From the market. <laughs> from the market. It's the boys. <laughs> so we just arrived at the showroom where we have our fitting. It just makes the whole outfit look completely different and I love it. So I think I'll go for this look for the show. Good morning. So we're here in Paris. It's such a nice day today, which makes me so happy because when the cities are like cloudy, it just makes the day so gloomy. So today's gonna be a good day. Um, I'm going to get ready and then Bash and I are going to shoot this Chanel look that I have been loaned from Chanel. So I'll take you with me. I'm not sure where we're gonna shoot it exactly, but we're gonna have a little walk around and just see what the vibe is. I thought I'd show you some of the accessories that have been loaned to me. This makes me so happy, how cute. Um, I'm such a big fan of hot pink mini bags and this Chanel one is so, so nice. And the attention to detail is just so cute. Look at this. It's the little logo within the chain of the strap. Oh, I love, love. We also have some really cute jewelry here. Look how pretty these earrings are. I can't wait to wear those. And then we also have a matching necklace, which is very chic. I must. And it's got the iconic number five attached to it, along with the logo. So I'm really excited to show you guys how the outfit will look all together with the accessories, the jacket. Ah. So this is the look I'll be shooting. And this is how it looks with the accessories. Cute. <laughs> So let's be real, I'm not walking around in a skirt. <laughs> so this is how glamorous my life is. I change in public every day when I'm shooting. Love it. <laughs> so we have just finished shooting, so we're gonna go get some lunch from a really chill sport spot called Wild and Moon. And they just do really healthy bowls and smoothies and stuff like that. Um, so what? 
What camera did we shoot on? Uh, contact T3. Boom. Boom. So a lot of people ask me what filters do I use on my pictures and they're not filters, they're just pictures taken on a film camera. Oh my god, my hotel room is a complete mess, so huge apologies. Um, so tonight is the Ami show, which I'm so excited about. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys my full outfit properly. And just to show you guys how the show goes in general. I honestly, these guys, I'm never disappointed with their collection. So I'm really, 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 really excited for it. So I'm going to start getting ready. I look like a neek because I have literally just been on my laptop all evening. Um, yes, so it's an evening show and the show starts at 8.30 and it is now quarter past six. I'm getting picked up at seven, so I have 45 minutes to get ready. So let's go. So for those of you who don't know me, I don't really talk about myself too much on Instagram and TikTok because I don't really like talking about myself. I always find find myself getting stuck and quite awkward. However, I thought I would tell you all some facts about me. So I was a model for about six years. I was traveling so much. I was, I wasn't like a high fashion model. I was more of a commercial model where I'd shoot underwear and swimwear for catalogs in Germany, but very like granny chic underwear and swimwear, like nothing fun. So I wasn't enjoying the pieces that I was wearing, which actually then inspired me to start my swimwear brand, which I no longer have anymore because it was just so much work for me to handle as it was literally Bash and I doing the full-time jobs of seven people and it, it was just too much to handle with modeling, social media, having a swimwear brand, the balance just wasn't it. So yeah, we were doing social media, the design process, packing the orders, customer service, doing the website, doing content, taking pictures. Like I could go on forever. So it was just way too much and it was really stressing me out. So after many years of modeling lockdown approach and obviously all the studios and they were, they were shut down, there were no more location shoots because nobody could travel. So then I decided to really take social media seriously and brands were asking me to shoot from home they were asking me to shoot ecom from home and i really enjoyed it so then i decided oh i can create content from home which is what i was doing with my spare time during lockdown my instagram really started to grow and brands started to approach me with paid jobs and then i realized wow I can pay bills and pay my rent with posting on social media. So I decided to focus on that. A lot of people are always asking where I'm from and people always try to guess and a lot of people guess Brazilian, which is actually quite funny because I'm not Brazilian, but I am half Norwegian, quarter Nigerian and quarter English. I was born in London though. Lots of people ask me, oh, can you speak Nigerian or Norwegian? And I can actually speak a little bit of Norwegian. I can have a conversation, but it's broken and you have to speak slowly to me. So yeah, you can snuck at Lipnosk. I get really embarrassed and I don't know why when I have to speak Norwegian, but hopefully it's a little, it's a thing that I can overcome. If I wasn't a content creator, I would probably work in like the food industry or something. I love food. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I'm always cooking at home as much as I can when I am home. 
I love food. I'm such a foodie. All my days consist of thinking about food and I have no self-control, but that's also something I'm working on because I am gluten intolerant. I'm not meant to have pasta and I have normal pasta all the time and then my skin breaks out and I complain. So I'm really not helping myself. New Year's resolutions for 2023. I want to learn how to drive. If I don't drive by the end of this year, I'll be so disappointed in myself. It's just learning the theory is what's stopping me, but I just have to just sit down and do the app continuously as that's what everyone's advised me to do. So fingers crossed. Um, I want to do some more art this year. I love painting and I love drawing. I'm not particularly great at it, but it's something that brings me joy. And when I was younger, I spent probably 60% of my time doing art. So that's something I really want to bring back into my life in 2023. And just positive vibes. I can be quite a negative Nancy at times. So I just want to try and be as positive as possible and see the good side of things in situations rather than going straight to the negative. Also more YouTube. Bash and I are engaged. So he proposed to me during one of the first lockdowns in this, as it was starting to get hot, it was one of the first really hot days. Um, and he proposed to me on Hampstead Heath because it's my favorite place in London maybe even in the world, it's where I feel most at home. I'm there all the time. We walk the dog there. My school was in Hampstead Heath. It's just a place that means a lot and it's somewhere I've been going since I was, since I started to walk. So it's a really, really special, magical place. If you're ever in London and you wanna go for a walk, Hampstead Heath is the place to go to. This bronzer is a Tom Ford bronzer and I have been through three of these and it's my go-to bronzer. Highly recommend. Favourite food? A spaghetti arrabbiata. Um, I do love chicken, chicken anything. I also love, do you know what? I love so much. I love vegetables. I love potatoes. I love rice. I love rice. And I love Iranian food because Bash and I are spot. It's a place called Burr and Jack in London. And if you haven't been, you have to go. And it's Iranian food. We talk about it all the time. We share it to our stories every time we go. We're very passionate about that place. So if you guys haven't been, please go. That's my favorite place in London to eat. Lots of people ask me questions about my hair. I do naturally have very curly hair however I always tend to straighten it or just slick it up because it's so much easier if you have curly hair you'll know what I'm talking about holiday curly hair is fabulous but then when I get to the city the water isn't as good here so my hair is always flat and the curls are just never how they are on holiday I want to learn a bit more about curly hair products and just have my hair natural so it grows but my hair doesn't seem to be growing. But when I do slick my hair up, these are the products I use, and I'm going to show you my secret that I've told all my friends about and they swear by it. I might do a separate video on this showing you how I use the products. However, this is the Eco Gel. You can get loads of varieties of Eco Gel. I always go for the green one. So I use that first to slick it down. And then I always go over the baby hairs with hairspray. And then this is the secret, this brush. It's tiny and the bristles here on this side are really tough and here they're really soft. And it just gives you the perfect cleanest slick. I really need to start making my own brushes because I've told all my friends about it and they're hooked. So yeah, no, but this is just, from PAX if you have a PAX near you in London, but I'm sure you can find that in all hair shops. Also, I look a bit crazy right now with one eye done with eyeshadow, but on to the next. Okay, so I'm going to have to really rush to get ready now because I have to leave in 15 minutes. 
So I'm gonna love you and leave you for a little bit, but don't worry, I'm gonna take you along with me to the show and I'm gonna show you my outfit and my whole complete look properly. But this makeup is going well, I'm happy, I'm happy, but I really have to rush. So bye for now. So here is the outfit. This looks so much better with the buttons undone. As you saw at the fitting, the buttons were buttoned up and the jacket was closed. So this just makes it a lot more cooler and foxier. Um, the earrings. And the necklace is cute. And then the matching pants look so good. So you can see it here in full. It's the heel boots, so I went for some black ones. And the flare is so nice at the bottom of the trouser. And here we have it, the outfit I wear to the Ami show. It's a really big theatre. It's really cool. So the show's gonna happen up there. Yeah. And we have sat front row. How are you doing today, Bunchy? Great. Life is good. How can I explain? How can we explain? <laughs> So I just got back from the Ami show, which was so good. So I just got back from the Ami show, which was so cool. The, I loved the neutral color palette within the collection and there were loads of oversized jackets, which I was obsessed with. Dare I say it, it got me excited for next winter. Um, I'm gonna get some food downstairs at the hotel restaurant and then I am going to bed because Bash and I have to be up really early for our Eurostar. So I'll see you on the Eurostar. Hey guys, so I just got back from Paris. I am so tired. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's so fun showing you guys more behind the scenes at shows during fashion week and there's women's fashion week later on this month so i'll be taking you guys along with me to milan and paris where i have some amazing shows lined up with my favorite 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 brands let me know what you guys loved about this video and what you would like to see as i do read all the comments and any suggestions are very welcome all right I'll catch you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed.